Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you guys are all doing so well. Today is Friday, it's March 22nd. This week has been a lot. It's been raining most of the days, so I've been chilling. I just posted a vlog for you guys on Wednesday, so if you haven't watched that, go check it out now. It's this weekend. I plan on, you know, doing the normal reset things. And we're also going to Six Flags with a group of friends tomorrow. So that should be fun. And then after that, I really don't have any plans. So we're just going to play it by ear. Yesterday, I went and got a Russian manicure. This is how it turned out. This is my second Russian manicure. The first one, my nails were pretty short, but since my nails are growing, they're looking so good. So I'm so excited to see how my nails will grow. When I took the gel that they use, the gel overlay that they use off, my nails were still so thick and strong. Russian manicure seemed really promising for me. So I'm just gonna stick with it and see how long I can get my nails to grow while still being strong and healthy. I didn't record that because I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a Russian manicure, but they're literally two hours, like two hours plus. So I had my headphones in and I was watching YouTube movies, TikToks, everything. I just didn't record. I just wanted to take some me time. But the next time I'll go, I'll record for you guys. This week I went to Home Goods and I found some home things. I've been getting a lot of home things lately because I just love having my home together. I don't know, it just makes me feel good inside. And I found a lamp at Home Goods during my trip this week, but I can only find one, y'all. So I'm just, like been going to different Home Goods trying to find the other lamp, <laughs> but I can't find it. So that's gonna be our mission for today, along with cleaning up. I want to make sure my house is in pristine shape when I go to Six Flags tomorrow, because when I come back, I know I'm gonna want to chill. I made a rule for myself where I can't buy any myself anything like skincare products, hygiene products, clothes, whatever, unless everything that I already have is organized. Yeah, like everything just has to be in tip top shape before I bring something new in this home. So that's been my rule and it's been working well for me. So yes, you guys, I am chilling today. Hair's in a cloth clip. We got a hoodie on. We're vibing. Let's go run these home goods errands. I already went to two, so let's just see if we can find this lamp. Let me show y'all the lamp in question, cause y'all might be like, girl, it's not that deep. But let me show y'all why it's that deep. This is the lamp that we're searching for. I only found one, but let me show you how it looks turned on. You guys cannot tell me that you wouldn't be stressing about this too. Like I wanna find the other one, so. That's my task for today. I also got some nightstands, so hopefully we can get those put up. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just a girl. Of course, I went into Home Goods and bought something that I didn't come for, nor didn't need, but wanted it anyway. I just got a candle, wrapped it up, so I'll show y'all when I get home. I'm in the same plaza as Ulta, but I'm not even gonna go in there. Like, we need to go to another Home Goods. Gotta look up. This is gonna be the last one I go to. If they don't have it, y'all, I'm gonna just let like, God do the work because I can't do it no more. This is a lot, this is a lot. Okay, you guys, so made it back home. Let me show y'all the candle that I got from Home Goods that I didn't need. It's so cute. It's the Dusk number, number seven candle. Cute, y'all. That was only $16 and it's like 28 ounces. Went to the local Indian grocery store and I picked up some Amla powder. We're trying to focus on self and wellness all around, so that includes hair growth. And I've seen good things about this, so I'm going to try to do hot oil treatments before I wash my hair and be washed dead. I also went to the Houston Nail Supply Store. If you don't know about the Houston Nail Supply Store, we are having all the nail stuff for cheap. Dirt cheap. I got this little applicator bottle for the amla oil for like hot oil treatments. It was like 80 cents. I got this pumice stone. It was like 50 cents. And then I got like this brush to um, wash in my nails. It was like 10 cents. And I also got this jar because I want to make some lip scrub. This was also like 10 cents. That's all I got while I was out. Mind you, it wasn't any of the things that I needed, but... 
it'll all work out. So I know y'all see these boxes right next to me. These are my nightstands. I'm feeling up to building them right now. So let's go ahead and do that for my energy level dies down and I don't want to do it anymore. nightstand it looks so good and the lamp is perfect so I definitely have to find the other one I only did one today I'm so proud of myself for putting this nightstand together I should be proud of me too but I really love it bringing my space together let me clean up this stuff and then I'm gonna put up this picture and then I'm gonna get some food because all this work got me tired and hungry Okay, you guys, here's the picture that I put up. I really suck at putting pictures up, so don't judge. I think it's cute, and then I put the little gallery light up, all coming together. I, I was out of ways and time. You were never gonna change your mind. I'm tired of hearing all your lies. But I don't wanna leave you lonely. So I come crawling back. Hoping it won't be like that. Hoping that you'll be a change. This one's for you. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Bigger than you ever done it. You be up on everything. Another whole thing never on it. I want this forever. I swear I could spend whatever on it. But she hold me down every time I get up. When I get right, I promise that we gon' live it up. She made me beg for it till she gave it up. And I say the same thing every single time. I said you the, you the best. I said you the best. I said you the best. No, you got a roommate. Call me when there's no one there. Put the key under the mat and you know I'll be over there. I'll be over Hello, you guys. Happy Sunday. I tried to get a little car tripod for y'all, but I don't know. The situation is not really working the best. We're just gonna work with what we have for now and then I'll just keep looking for another car mount. If y'all have any suggestions for a good car mount, put it in the comments for me. I would greatly appreciate it. But yesterday at Six Flags was so fun. It was such a long day. So I just took the rest of Sunday morning to just have some me time. I've been pouring into a lot of people this week so I just needed time for myself. But now I am on my way to Yepo, a local K beauty store. That's where I get all my Korean skincare products and things like that. I need to go there and get a few things. I wanna get some sheet masks and then I'm going to just look at what they have. If I see something that I really wanna to add to my skincare routine, I'll get it. But other than that, I'm not gonna be excessive with like for anything other than sheet masks. I have a yoga class at 4 o'clock today, a restore yoga class, so it's going to be a lot of stretching and posture work. I had a lot of lower back pain earlier this week and last weekend, so I had to take like a light workout week and try to do like an active recovery type workout week. I still got my workouts in, but I didn't go as hard as I usually do because I just wanted my back to recover. I did hot yoga on Monday as well, so that helps. And and I also just been prioritizing my stretching. I feel like I fully recovered, but I'm gonna try the restore class. I don't know how I'll like it, so we might like it and wanna keep doing it. This car tripod is just not working out for me, y'all, so I will talk to y'all when I get to Yepo. Okay, y'all, I spent way too long at the K-Town in Katy. 
up, but I actually ran over time, so I'm rushing home. I'll show you guys what exactly I got from the stores when I get home or when I get back from yoga. I got a bunch of sheet masks and then I got the Cause RX Hyaluronic Acid. I actually got way more sheet masks than I expected because the ones I was looking for, they didn't have it at Yepo, but they had it at the store next to it. So I just ended up settling at Yepo and then I found the ones I was looking for and these stores don't really do returns. So I'll just keep them. So I got about like 24, like 30 sheet masks y'all and I'm going to use every single one so don't even trip. I'm not even tripping. So I don't have to buy another sheet mask for a good minute. Yepo is a really, that's the store that you guys seen the footage from. It's a really nice K-beauty store. It's very organized, very clean. But the only thing about Yepo, you guys, is I really can't shop in peace in Yepo. I can't shop in peace in Yepo because the girls are always coming up to me like every two minutes asking me, like, okay, do I need anything? And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'll let you guys know, you know. But that's the only downfall to that store. The store next to it, I think I might start going there because it was real chill. Like, it was chill. I was having a blast in there and the stuff was cheaper, 20% off. The only one in there, it was quiet. They were letting me just be in my zone and it was such a relaxing vibe. So I might be going to that one moving forward. But yes, you guys, y'all know that the skincare and hygiene stuff is like literally Toys R Us for me. So I was in there just reading everything, trying different products on my hand. And I was just having a good old time and I lost track of time. So let me hurry up and rush to get home so that I can make it to my yoga class one time. Moving forward, I would not be booking a yoga class in the middle of the day. It will probably be Sunday mornings, but you know, we live and we learn. Okay, you guys, we made it out the house. I'm on my way there now. I was literally running trying to put on my clothes. But I just have on this navigation, this white navigation top. It has a cutout back similar to the one I was wearing in my last vlog during my workout. And then I have on my tie-dye green Lulu Align leggings. I'm wearing this jacket because it's so windy outside. I've been snacking on these wheat crackers because I haven't ate anything all day. It's just bad, but if I didn't eat a cracker or something, I was going to pass out, y'all. I hope the class is not jam-packed like the last one. So let's head to this yoga class. We're like three minutes away. Ugh. I did not like how that music was playing. We'll get there four minutes before the class starts, so I just hope with parking and everything that we'll be on time. So I'll talk to y'all when we get there. Okay, you guys, just got out of yoga. This class was more slow paced, stretch focused. I don't think I'm going to take it again, only if like, I will take it if I'm sore or have the lower back pain or any just soreness from working out but on my regular workout split I won't be taking restore yoga I'll just take regular hot flow this one was like very slow paced deep stretches and I started to feel a little lightheaded I don't know if it's because I didn't eat or what they give us these drinks so I got the Owls Brew Boozy Tea English Breakfast and Lemon Tea they gave us that, so that was nice. It was very nice in that studio. It was way more spacious. Way more spaced out than the first class I went to. But I think I'm going to go ahead and book another class at the first place. The first yoga studio I went to was Black Swan. I really liked the instructor. Yeah, he was great. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. But y'all, like I said, I am literally lightheaded right now. So I need to put some food in my system or I'm going to pass out. Like, I never do this. I never not eat. So this is just weird. Like, I'm feeling weird. <laughs> hey, y'all. I got my food. I went to the rice box. It was so cute in there. I'm about to eat in the car because if we're being honest right now, if I wait till I get home and eat, I might, I might pass out. So let me go ahead and eat. I just hate that I don't have my window tinting yet because 
people just be looking straight through my car, whatever. I don't care. Let me lock my car. Just eating chit chat, you guys. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all since. The last time I didn't really talk to y'all like that. So yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. I got the general sauce chicken. It comes with rice and an egg roll. So I'm about to eat this egg roll. This is what it looks like. I eat my egg rolls with duck sauce. I don't even think I could talk. <laughs> This is the fried rice, and this is the General Tso's chicken. It's okay. It's so hot. But yeah, I'm about to bust this down, y'all, and then I will talk to y'all whenever I'm at it. Okay, you guys, I am back home. My head is hurting. That yoga class didn't do anything but make my head hurt, or I just feel like it was me not eating that made my head hurt. But I'm about to show y'all what I got from the K-Beauty stores. Let me loosen up this bun a little bit. Like I said, I went to Yepo. I love Korean beauty. I love Korean skincare. It will forever have my heart. So anytime I get to go to these stores and make the trip to go, I'm so happy. From Yepo, I got a bunch of sheet masks. So we got all these sheet masks. From Y'all, this is overkill. I probably got too much. We got the Vital Hydro Solution from Dr. Jark. Plus, I'm excited to try that one out. It's supposed to be hydrating. I got the Meta Hill Water Mide Essential. It's like the toner pads, but it's just in sheet mask form. I got the Collagen Essential. One, two, three, four, five of them. Manuka Honey. I love honey sheet masks. They're very nourishing and moisturizing for dry skin. So I got a lot of honey in this haul. They gave me this aloe ultra hydrating essence mask to try out two of the etude aloe soothing moisture the lemon which is moisturizing and brightening one of the green tea for moisturizing and soothing one tea tree for refreshing and soothing matic i don't know if that's how you say it but this one is for soothing and defense so if i'm having like a breakout i'm going to use this one like i said they gave me this mask as a sample with my purchase and then they also gave me two of the Laneige water bank samples. And all those masks were buy, they were $2 a piece and they were buy 10 get two free. And then it was the same for the next door. So let me show you what I got from there. Cause RX Hyaluronic Acid Essence. I keep hearing great things about this. So I went ahead and picked it up. I love the Snell Mucin. This brand is really good. So I can't wait to try this out. I got a bunch of masks. And these are all the squeezed energy masks from Innisfree. So this is really the mask that I wanted in the first place, but I didn't see them in Yepo, so I got all those masks. But then when I went to the next store, I seen them. But like I said, they don't do returns, so... But I'm gonna use them, so it don't even matter. I got four of the Nourishing Manuka Honey, two of the Rose Sheet Mask, and these are for Glow. I got one of the clarifying kombucha mask. That's two of the soothing heart leaf. I love moisture, so I got three of the moisturizing acai berry. So excited to try these masks out. One, I love sheet masks. I do a sheet mask every day. Since I have so many, like I'm set, or I might just do one morning and night. So I ran my self-care errands for the day. Now I need to tend to my home. Like I told you guys, I didn't do my Sunday reset this morning because I took some time for me and to relax and to sleep in since I didn't get to yesterday. But we still need to do it. So I'm about to clean up. And if it doesn't get too, too late, I think I'm going to go get a few things from the grocery store. Let me clean up my home, get my space together. We'll see what the rest of our day is looking like once I'm done with that. So I actually took the time to put the second nightstand together. Ignore my bed. I'm washing my sheets right now. I really like this. It's coming together. I just need to get another lamp, obviously, and then put some stuff over there. But I really like this. I had to come on here and update you guys. I did it again. That girl change of plans i told myself i was going to do my sunday reset if i had time originally and then i built my dress or my nightstand and now it's like 8 30 p.m but you know what this is like a little tip or advice for y'all if y'all are really trying to like get on your shit 
but you have to be your own personal life coach. I'm going to do my Sunday reset regardless of what time I go to bed because if I don't do it, I'm not going to have a successful week. It's just necessary at this point. So sometimes you got to sacrifice y'all if y'all really trying to grind it out and get on your shit reach your goals and be consistent at the grocery store right now i'm just gonna pick up a few things that i need like essentials we have a lot to do but let's do it y'all let's do it if you're gonna be outside late like this i usually don't like running errands late like this outside if you guys are gonna do it i don't suggest it for one but if you are going to do it make sure you're protected and make sure you know how to use your protection okay that's all i'm gonna say because it's getting crazy out here especially in Houston so make sure you guys stay safe I wanted to make my ginger shots tonight but Kroger produce is like so trash if y'all live in Atlanta I used to go to this farmer's market called your decab farmer's market oh my gosh that is the best place to grocery shop ever they had such fresh produce they had everything and i miss it so much if you guys know any farmer's market like that in houston please let me know i hope this makes it to the right person because i've been struggling and i wasn't buying that ginger from kroger and it had mold on it and everything y'all like no i care about what's going into my body and that's not going in it so i usually get my ginger from audi and it's like a dollar I'm just going to go get it tomorrow and make my ginger shots tomorrow. I'm about to head home and then finish up the rest of the task.